Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the Advanced Geometry series with ComSol Multiphysics. In this video, we will be talking about how exactly we can create different closed curves with ComSol Multiphysics. Here, I have taken a few examples of the closed curves. Say, this is called deltoid, this is asteroid, this is a heart shape and this one is a spiral. Many times we may need to do irregular geometries in ComSol Multiphysics and that is why learning about this concept is important. You may not actually need to draw this particular diagram for your simulation but you may need to draw this kind of shape many times in your ComSol simulation and that is why this concept is important. This concept is based on the parametric equation of the closed curve. If you remember your school level coordinate geometry there we have actually learned about this parametric equation of a particular curve. So here <clears throat> there is a point say at P and this point is reference to a Cartesian coordinate frame and that Cartesian coordinate frame is given by this horizontal line say this one is the x axis and the vertical line say this one is the y axis and in the polar form this particular point can be represented by a circle and this circle has a has a radius of r and a center at o the center is similar center whatever it was in the cartesian frame and if we draw a perpendicular on top of the x axis then this particular distance will become r sin theta and this one will be r cos theta and this is coming from simple trigonometric equations and this form r cos theta and r sin theta is called parametric form of this particular curve or this particular circle. Now for different irregular closed shaped geometries this parametric equations will be complicated little bit but if we know this equation, then there is an option in ComSol where, where we actually can create this kind of geometry. So I'll talk about it shortly. Before I move into technical discussion with ComSol, I would like to announce that we have initiated a service where we help you developing your research model. And for that, you have to write to me in the email ID given in the description box and I will set up video calls and try to develop your problem. So now let, let us go ahead with ComSol and create this kind of geometry. So initially we have taken a 3D case and I right click on it and I take a work plane because I have taken a 3D but I am working with a 2D shape that's why I have chosen the work plane. In the plane geometry I right click and you can see there is an option parametric curve and we have to choose this one because all the geometries will be created from this parametric curve. So if you go to the settings window of this parametric curve, you can see there are few names say the name of the parameter is S. So here S is equivalent to my theta and this will be the range of the theta it is starting say it is starting from 0 it is going up to 2 pi so that you have to mention and here you have to mention that r sin theta r cos theta kind of parametric equations so we have actually taken this diagrams from ulfam website ulfam mathematica and they have the equations ready i'll show you that particular web page so this is the web page of Ulfam. So where they actually took this kind of diagrams and they actually have the equations for all those diagrams and what would be our task? Our task would be to replicate this particular geometries. So initially we start with a simple one that is the creation of a circle which is R sin theta and R cos theta. Say R is 0.5 any value and this is cos theta instead of theta we write s because here s is the parameter and again r sin s now i click on build selected 
this has to go up to 2 pi so we write 2 pi so this circle is completed so this is how you can actually create a circle by parametric equation if you change this r then it will become an ellipse so we make it 0.8 and the other one is 0.5 so it will be like this ellipse now we can alter this that will actually change the shape of the ellipse so this is how we can actually play around and create different kinds of ellipse now we just try to create a geometry which are given in this web page as equations so let us try this particular geometry first say asteroid sine cos t cube and sine t cube from 0 to 2 pi so let us write it cos t cube so cos s cube and sin s cube so we remove this point 8 from here I, so you can see this particular geometry is created now if you multiply by some factor its shape will change you can see this is how the shape can be changed you can make it in the y direction as well say this one is 1.2 into cos so you can actually change the shape now let us try to do with try to do this particular say the hot curve i have already taken this equation i have already tried this one so i'll just copy and paste it because the equation is already written somewhere yeah this is the equation might be this might be the equation of heart so we just paste it over here and the other one is this one I'm just copying and pasting because it was already done by me so you can actually pause the video and cross check the equation with the Wolfram website I click on build selected so this one is not for the hard one this one is for this particular shape and that's why we got this particular shape we'll do the hard one i have the equation with me so this is how the equation is yeah 16 sine t cube and y equal to this this one is the equation for the heart i might have done it so if we if i have the equation I can actually copy it yeah this one is the equation for the heart so what I do is I copy it here and the other y1 is this so this is the parametric equation of heart shape so if I click on build selected this should come yeah this is the heart shape now what if I want to make it a solid object and a 3D heart shape so what I can do is initially this is a sketch I have to convert it to solid so I choose convert so this has been converted into a solid now what I can do is I can actually click extrude and extrude in the normal direction say I put the dimension 2 so you can see this particular object is now a 3d object so let us finally do another shape let us try the spiral one because the spiral one is very important sometimes we need to do spiral ones the spiral one is also chosen I guess the parametric equation for the spiral one is this so here I have already done it you can see this is the spiral one this is the equation let us delete all other things so that will make the visibility better so I will just keep the spiral one yeah this is the spiral one 
bill selected I'll just zoom it or we can also make a replica over there because there is some issue with this so we can make a replica here for the parametric curve so this is the equation for spiral and here it will go up to 100 so we paste it make it 100 and click on build selected so you can see this is the spiral one so you can actually play around with the equations uh, so your job would be to collect the equation to understand the equation for a particular curve if it is available then you can easily create it with the help of this parametric curve so this parametric curve is very much powerful if you are trying to make this kind of geometry so today i stop here in the upcoming videos i will show you how exactly these options can be useful to create original real geometries so meanwhile i would request you to subscribe to our channel because if you subscribe to us will get more motivation to upload new videos. Thank you.